Sigurd of Stone Jesus and today I'm talking about First Communion, our debut record to be reissued by Link Palm Records this summer. Uh, in this track by track or rather side by side video, uh, I was talking about side A the last time, about Occult and Blackwoods, uh, two long tracks that were taking up the side A. And today I'm talking about side B, obviously. And if you saw the first part, you know that the idea for First Communion initially was to create a perfect uh, stoner doom record. But uh, never mind the genres, I've always been a huge fan of uh, well-crafted songs. I'm a huge fan of uh, quality level songwriting, uh, so to speak. Uh, I was surrounded by Beatles and ABBA and Pink Floyd when I was growing up and some Euro dance as well. Okay, <laughs> uh, so uh, I was also you know, pretty much uh, interested in writing an actual song, not just some like you know, 10 minute long uh, riff heavy thing. <laughs> uh, so this is how I uh, came up with the. Uh, uh, Red Vine. It's essentially just a, a pop song, if you will. Uh, it got this like uh, Sabathian intro, but then it sort of delves into this four chord territory and it could be played uh, with an acoustic guitar or just piano and vocals. And that's the case for most uh, Stone Jesus songs from back in the day because I was writing them mostly on acoustics. So, for Red Vine, uh, in particular, a huge inspiration were these guys. And this is the first album I uh, heard from Nirvana, and it's still my favorite one, even though it's a live record. So, uh, Red Vine owes a lot to Kurt and his songwriting uh, genius. And lyrically, it's, um, it's quite different from all the other songs, and I will get to that. Closing uh, song was falling apart. It's like we're getting back to doom territory with this really long and slow and heavy doom metal uh, dirge, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, it was obviously influenced by this really shamanic and monotonic uh, riff, which was very much influenced by these guys. I think it was like my uh, heaviest uh, influence back then in the days of First Communion. I wasn't a huge Electric Wizard fan, even though I love them now and uh, I really like their early albums. Uh, but Sleep and specifically Holly Mountain was like my uh, idea of how the perfect stoner doom record should sound like. Uh, so Falling Apart is just that, it's like literally 8 uh, <laughs> lines of lyrics and 13 minutes of doom. And speaking of lyrics, uh, like all four songs on First Communion could work uh, in e either direction. Like there is always a second layer uh, in the lyrics. Like you can take them literally, or you can take them as like a cult is a song against uh, uh, religious discrimination, and Blackwoods is a song about you know playing with paranormal. And Red Wine is a song uh, from the point of view of a stalker who's about to abuse someone. And Falling Apart is about hubris. So, yeah, like you have this literal layer and you always have another one you can dig into. So, yeah, that's it. Four songs, 40 minutes. Uh, this is as much as First Communion goes. And I hope you guys are really gonna enjoy it. And look forward to more information on it soon. Stay safe and take care. Bye!